Hey you guys, it's Ivy and yes you guys, I cut it all off. No, I'm just kidding you guys. It's a wig. If you guys want to know how I did this short style, let's get started. So the hair I'm using is from Supernova Hair. This is their Foon Me Kinky Curly. And this is how the hair looks when you first get it right out of the package. Very tightly coiled and springy. And you do get a lot of hair on the bundles. I actually only use two bundles and a frontal for my entire unit because you get so much hair, you guys. So much hair. And this is how the bundles look right after you co-wash them. You guys, I will not stress how important it is to co-wash your hair. Always, always co-wash your bundles so you can really see how it's going to look. And I'm a little surprised because I thought the hair was going to be a lot kinkier. But it is like a tighter curl, but it's not kinky at all. And this is what it looks like when the unit was completed. As you guys can see, it's kind of like a tighter curl, but nowhere near kinky. It's more like a smooth tight curl but I really like the hair and last minute you guys I thought about doing it into a shortcut so what you want to do is go ahead and put your hair into sections and I'm doing it like this because of the type of cut that I want I kind of want a I really don't know the name of this cut all I know is this is how you got to start the base for cutting you know like a short hairstyle so I'm making two sections in the back one on each side one in the middle and one in the top Okay, you guys, and this is how it should look. Here are all the sections. And you want to preferably start in the back. And I'm just going to take down those ponytails and separate that again into a thinner section. Spray it down with some water. And I'm using my razor comb just to um, start my cut. This is going to be my guideline. And basically throughout the entire cut, you want to follow your guide, making each layer like shorter and shorter. That way you can kind of get that faded look it's really hard to explain you guys what's going on here because i'm very very new to cutting short hairstyles this is like the second one i've done and i'm still learning as you guys are learning but this is the easiest way for me to cut a short style it just makes everything like come together and it helps me to see you know how the cut is gonna look and you just want to gradually go up and as you guys can see see how it's starting to get that little short haircut look and now with the bigger section I'm actually using some shears and I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna go in and start doing my size and you want to you know part start with a small piece use it as your guide and keep going you can kind of see what I'm doing right there sorry if I can't explain it you know in full detail you guys but you you see what I'm doing okay and now I'm gonna get now I'm doing the other side I'm doing the same process it's just you know you just want to repeat the process and now I'm going in cutting the front and I kind of want it to be like long layers in the front I wanted like a heavy type of side bang on this cut you guys this, I promise you guys this is like my dream haircut I've always wanted to cut my hair like this and see what it would look like so I'm so happy I'm able to do that with a wig so now you just want to go through and clean up your cuts I'm just um, checking making sure it's no loose ends and now I'm using some thinning scissors and just thinning it out since this is a short curly cut you don't want it to look too thick and too like you know like too much weight in the hair now I'm gonna be using my cutting comb and putting it at a 90 degree angle and then I'm gonna use some clippers just to fade the size and make it a little bit more tapered um, this step was really optional. I, you know, decided to do this last minute because I wanted it a little bit more lower than it was. I'm definitely liking the way it came out with clippers. It allowed me to have more control over, you know, my cut. Now I'm just cleaning up the back, making everything more seamless and perfect. And I'm lining up the back. As you guys can see, I wanted it to have that little V shape there in the back. And this is pretty much the finished wig. Like, that's it, you guys. Like, just play with it until you get your perfect shape. I was so proud of myself. I couldn't believe I did this good on it. Like it looked so nice, you guys. And I just sprayed some water in it to scrunch up those curls. And this hair is beautiful. Like it's so soft, no tangles. It's just beautiful. And I look at those curls. I loved it. 
So now I'm using my wig grip and I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig. And you just wanna go ahead and adjust it on your head. Make sure you take your time doing so. Um, and I did um, leave out my real baby hairs because I thought it just, I don't know, I thought it just made the whole entire thing look a little bit better. Now I'm fluffing out the curls and look at the back baby. Oh my God, it lays so good. I'm so proud of myself, you guys, and I'm in love with this hair. If you guys are interested in this hair, make sure you check the description bar below. Once again, this is the Supernova Fumi Kinky Curly Hair. And I love it, you guys. So I hope this video helps you guys learn how to cut your hair. Comment below and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. You know, you know that I always be there for you. Won't let you go. I'll always take care of you because you're mine.